I'm going to go ahead and turn on the radio. Screw that back down into place. I should get some magnets on here. Revert, revert. <laughs> I meant forward. Whoa! Oh, Opa! <laughs> All right, you knew it was going to happen. Check it out. This is a one tenth scale uh, Charisma rally car. Really, it's a small uh, entry level hobby grade car. I figured it would be great for a uh, first person view. Uh, you guys watched me do a PC uh, steering wheel conversion to make it into a radio as well as the pedal system I have down below. Now I'll get into the tech stuff a little bit later for you. Um, plus I also showed you how to do this in the last video. I'll leave it in a video description box down below in case you missed it. I want to get to uh, first person view. It's a little bit windy, a little bit shady outside today. Uh, but with the GoPro setup, I'm able to film at 60 frames a second, 1080p, and I can see pretty good through the car's eye, basically. So let's have some fun, some, some real life gaming. <laughs> All right guys, here we go, first person view. I have full control of the car with the variable pedals working perfectly. Wow, what a unique experience. Okay, outside my door, down off the step. What? This is amazing, guys. Okay, I got a little bit of a glitch, not too, well, not too bad, pretty bumpy terrain. Holy cow real life gaming at its best right here. I've got that 3S LiPo in there, so I'm making it across my lawn, like in the front of the house, no problem. Trying to make my way back. Here we go, ah, a little bit of speed. Wow, this is crazy. Just sitting back and like, it, it's like playing a video game, but I know it's real. Crazy around the tree. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. Okay, I know there's a bit of a jump over here. Dare I go over the jump? You know I will. Here we go, throttle down, buddy. Oh, I ended up on my side. The only problem with first person view. Okay, I gotta go flip the rig. Very, very windy today. Oh man, back at her. Okay, gotta turn it around a little bit. Dude, the potentials for this is insane. People have been doing first person view for such a long time. In fact, the first time I did it like this was back in 2013. Come on over the hump. Oh yeah, I made it to the other side. Oh, did I lose signal? Oh, it turned off somehow, no. Oh, I gotta go figure out where it is. Oh, this is the problem with a small car. I think a monster truck would be awesome, but then again, it would be flipping over all the time. I gotta get it. Okay, back at her. That's funny that I can make it all the way to the front of the house, but as soon as I go over the berm, lose the signal. So crazy. Need some music in the background. Come with me, I want to show you how far it actually went. Let's go together. Around here. Oh, oh, that's too bad. I hit a branch that was way too big, like a log. <laughs> hit this, over here it went. There we go, still filming though. All right guys, here we go. A lot of you may have seen the last video I did about how to convert this uh, PC slash PlayStation slash gaming wheel and pedal setup uh, to work with your radio control hobby car. Basically all I did was gut one of my old radios and set it up with the receiver uh, and, and open this up. As you can see, check it out. 
and wire it all into the existing wires that were there to make it into basically a wireless radio, even though I do have a wire for the pedal setup. Now, while I'm talking about pedal setups, because I know a lot of people had questions about this, yes, if your ESC does, which is the electronic speed control, the brain that's running that over there, it's a power distributor, if it is set up to have reverse and throttle, you will have reverse and throttle. I do have mine set up where it is throttle forward and then brake, and then when I tap it again, I go in reverse. So I do have a brake system set up through uh, the power distribution center on the car. Now, check it out. I did switch my vehicle over because I thought it was way more appropriate to have a rally car uh, that was set up on this gaming wheel. Uh, also with a first person view setup. Now this is like an every everyday setup that anybody can do. Uh, this is a GoPro Hero 4. You guys have maybe seen the show before and know how I set up my first person view a camera system. If not, I'll link a video in the description box below where you can check it out. Here is a Mad Mushroom antenna. Basically, I use this camera, even though a lot of folks say it's not ideal, this can actually film in 60 frames per second while actually broadcasting through the transmitter. There's the Immersion RC 5.8 gigahertz, 600 milliwatt separately run on a 2S LiPo battery. That's just a 2000 milliamp hour. All of this is separate from the car. The car itself, I have a brushless setup in there, 21.5. Uh, the ESC there, like I was saying, does have the uh, brake and the reverse and full throttle. It is variable. Speaking of variable, I'd like to say I do have an update to what I did on the pedals. A lot of you guys told me that the name of this little fella here is a potentiometer, if I'm pronouncing that right, and thank you for doing that. Uh, people say for short, they call it POTS, I think that's right. But it is also a variable resistance it is variably resisting the amount of energy going into that chip. It's of that family. So thank you for giving me the right name because there is two of them on the radio. Now, because of your guys' advice, and thank you for piping up, I was having variable speed here when I was pushing the throttle, but the amount of resistance on these stock ones was much better. So what I did was I, I had the luxury, because over the years I've had a few radios, I took two of these apart and actually used two, uh, two of these pots right here and switched them over on the inside. So I did do that. It has given me better control overall. Um, so with the VR, not VR, not virtual reality, this is real reality. Uh, these are Fat Shark goggles. These are uh, my old Dominators. I think these are V2s. Uh, pretty good. They run on a little LiPo battery themselves and pick up the transmission from that Mad Mushroom uh, antenna on the back pretty well. What excites me about technology like this and just kind of tinkering around and figuring stuff out is the potential, like not just in the RC world, but can you imagine I'm sure there's driving schools out there that must incorporate technology like this. Like this would have been super helpful for me to learn the rules of the road, for example. Putting on an immersive experience, getting behind the pedals, learning how to drive a stick shift, for example, learning how the clutch works. This would be great. I can also see potential for the medical industry as well, where people have been in accidents, you know, and need to kind of get back and they're afraid to get in the car or the truck or whatever and try to learn how to drive again. Uh, that's something that it could be helpful for. I think that the possibilities are endless and I want you guys to let me know more of your ideas in the comment section down below. Do you guys actually see more purpose to this than just a hobby? Uh, or do you think it's just hobby? Or do you think it's silly and you didn't need to even try or see something like this? I can only imagine what it's like to set up four of these, five of these on the driver's stand and be racing, you know, like big one-fifth scale trucks or something where you can actually see out the windshield. What a totally different experience. I know a lot of you guys are out there doing that already. Uh, so thanks for tuning in today. I hope I hear from you guys uh, in the comment section below. Give us a like click if this was cool for you, inspired you to try the uh, hobby of radio control. Anything is possible these days. If you can think it up, you can build it. Uh, so guys, we'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures and go outside and have some fun with RC. You know I do. Bye. You know it wouldn't be right if I didn't end it with some donuts of some sort. <laughs> Whoa! Somebody get me a bar bag, yeah! <laughs> I'm going out again, this is too cool.